Whether it's an election for your student body, local government, or simply garnering support for a cause, posters are an important part of any campaign plan. And yes, you might question whether physical posters are still effective in the age of social media and digital advertising, but I'm here to tell you they are. Maybe even more so. Stick around and let me convince you. Hi, I'm Julie from Canva Design School. My first promise to you, posters talk to everyone. Online platforms can funnel you down specific channels, seeing only what your algorithm suggests. But a physical poster sidesteps this and talks to everyone who passes it, regardless of age or gender. They're a constant visual reminder of the candidate and their message, grabbing potential voters' attention as they go about their daily lives. Secondly, digital content comes and goes, in seconds sometimes, but a physical poster leaves a more lasting impression. It creates a tangible presence for the candidate or cause, making their campaign feel more grounded and real. Now, that doesn't mean you should dump your digital assets. Posters work hand in hand with online efforts, reinforcing messages and visuals, creating a cohesive and consistent brand experience. And finally, posters are an affordable option, especially for local elections with limited budgets. They're a cost-effective means to increase visibility and spread the candidate's message. At the end of this video, I'll go into more detail about how to get your posters printed and how much it costs. And you can do this in an environmentally sustainable way. Now, before we dive into the nitty gritty, let's discuss what's crucial to include in your campaign posters. The candidate's name, a no-brainer, but definitely worth mentioning as it's the main selling point of your poster. A short, snappy, catchy slogan or tagline that can make it more memorable. Voters need to know what position they're voting for, so make it clear and prominent what your candidate is running for. Remind people when it's time to hit the polls. Depending on the campaign, you might want to highlight key issues they're passionate about. But remember, less is more, so don't overload your poster. Don't forget to include a website, social media handles, or other contact information so interested voters can learn more. This could be a call to action, or CTA, that asks them to do something. QR codes are really easy to make on Canva. Just go here, type in the address, and hit generate. It's that easy. It does feel like something is missing. An image. Images play a vital role in capturing attention and conveying your candidate's personality and values helping build trust and creating a personal connection. The first thing to mention is the image should be high resolution and professionally taken. Blurry, pixelated, or low quality images can make your poster look amateurish and harm your candidate's credibility. Likewise, they should be clear and uncluttered. Avoid images with busy backgrounds or too many elements that can distract from the candidate. Opt for a clean image that allows the candidate to be the focal point. Don't have an image like that? Use Canva's background remover and look at that. Now it's very clear who we should be looking at. Now, you could use a filter or effect to really make it graphic. Just make sure it shows the candidate in a relatable and authentic light. Candidates known for a particular issue or policy might want to incorporate a relevant visual example. For example, if they're an advocate for education, a picture with them interacting with students could be really powerful. Remember, you're trying to evoke an emotion in your target audience. Whether it's hope, inspiration, or determination, the image should reflect the candidate's personality and make a lasting impression on voters.
Okay, this is feeling pretty good. Great question. No, they don't, but it should be consistent with the overall branding and messaging of the campaign. It should reflect the candidate's values, priorities, and the emotions you want voters to associate with them. The audience needs to be able to link the poster with the candidate and with their name on the ballot sheet. Okay, now we know the key elements, let's talk about design tips and how you can effectively communicate your message. Let's start with colors. They can evoke instant emotions and reactions, so choose wisely. For example, red can symbolize boldness and passion, while blue can convey trust and stability. Green can suggest sustainability, but also security and health. Now, of course, color might depend on what you're campaigning for or party affiliations. If you want help with colors, I suggest checking out this Canva site. There's a super helpful palette page, especially if there's a central color you're using. It's great for finding complementary secondary colors to build out your palette. Another design tip is to select easy to read fonts that complement your design. Avoid overly decorative or script fonts as they're difficult to decipher at a glance. Something that'll both capture attention and be readable from a distance. Your audience might be across the street or hall, and you need to make sure they can still get the central message. Okay, final tip, hierarchy and composition. Hierarchy gets thrown about a lot in design because it's really important. It organizes information in a way that guides the viewers through the poster, like a journey. The most important elements, like candidate's name and tagline, should be most prominent. Play with size, contrast, and placement to create a story people can follow. They can see this first, and then this, and then this, and then they finish here with a call to action that encourages them to do something. Okay, wow, this is ready to share with the team. Sharing in Canva is incredibly easy. Just head here, add emails, and choose what sort of access. If this is a poster a number of people will use for their own campaigns, you could create a template link. Send this link to your team, and when they click on the link, they'll be able to use your design as a template and add their own information. The perfect way to ensure you're visually consistent across the whole party. Now, I promised I'd show you how to print as well. So Canva actually offers poster printing in most locales, and it's very affordable. Go here and choose your size of poster. Choose quantity. The more you get, the cheaper each poster becomes. Now hit this button and your posters will be on their way to you with free delivery. It's actually super easy to adapt this for other formats. Hitting this button will resize your design to say a flyer. Now you have something you can hand out. Or maybe you want a social post. Move elements around a little, and you've got something for your online channels as well, all from that one design. If you're interested in learning how to create amazing flyers, or Facebook posts, or ads, or anything really, check out our playlist. We upload design tips and tricks every week and it's really the easiest way to become a Canva expert. Each lesson is taught to you by people working right here at Canva. And there you have it! Well-designed posters can have a powerful impact on voters, so don't underestimate their importance. It's your chance to control the narrative and first impression of your candidate or your cause. If you have any questions or tips of your own, feel free to share them in the comments below.
Oh, hey there. Are you in need of more design inspiration? You can get to our playlist here. And we talked a little about flyers at the end there. Check out this video to learn how to design them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more design goodness. Happy designing and may the best candidate win.